Good evening. I'm Mac Brown, the rector of St. James Episcopal Church here in Taos, New Mexico. And I'm so glad you're gathering with us in worship and prayer this Monday Thursday. I'd like to begin our Monday Thursday sermon with a prayer. Let us pray. Gracious and loving God, we give you thanks for this day. We give you thanks for the gift, gift and blessing of life and for your call to us to be your people in this place. Give us your grace so that we may continue to hear your commandment to us to love as we are loved. And in these days, as we are not able to gather together to wash each other's feet or to feed on the physical elements of your body and blood at the altar of love, wash us clean. Feed us and sustain us with the mysteries of your holy body and blood. And give us your grace to be sustained in the days ahead, to walk with you to the cross and to rise with you at the empty tomb to make our song so that all may know that they come within your saving embrace. This we pray in your name, the one who loved first, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. You know, back where I come from in the mountains, Appalachian Mountains of East Tennessee, one of the dirtiest things you could call somebody was a foot washing Baptist. And honestly, I have to say that if I was to claim a title like that for myself, I might say I'm a foot washing Episcopalian. And I think that the church missed it a little bit. On this night, Monday, Thursday, when we celebrate the new mandate that Christ has given us to love each other as we are loved, we also celebrate his instruction to do this in remembrance of me, that when we gather as the body of Christ, we miraculously reform Christ's body here and now to be the articulate members of God in this place. And, and we latch on to those things without the second thought. Those, those mysteries and realities of our Christian faith and life are something we celebrate, yet foot washing. Foot washing, my friends, I can't tell you how many parishes I've been in where faithful people who pray the office and give regularly and are at every high celebration were unwilling or unable to come with their bare feet and allow their feet to be washed. It's not about us washing feet tonight. It's about us allowing our feet to be washed. And disciples throughout the ages have struggled with this. We hear this in the story as Jesus bends down to wash Peter feet, Peter's feet. Peter says, no, Lord. No, I'm not worthy. Let me wash yours. But the reality of our faith and the reality that God illustrates to us in Monday, Thursday, and in all of our life together is that God is with us not just in the high celebrations, but in the muck and the mire. And in these days, as we're not able to gather in the ways that we would want to, in the ways that we're used to, please do not think that God is not with you, that God is not now feeding you, that God is not now calling you again and again to the new commandment to love as you are loved. So my friends, this evening, let our feet be washed by the Holy Spirit who binds us together in love, let the grace of God Almighty who died on the cross be with us and be given to each of us as we experiment in these days ahead. And may God, the creator of us all, give us his peace so that in these days we may know that we are fed and that we are loved and give us that strength in that feeding to go out and to love as we are loved. That is the commandment that God has given us today and always. Peace be with you, my friends. I'll be, see you tomorrow on Good Friday as we stand in the shadow of the cross and weep with broken hearts. And I will be with you as we stand at the empty tomb and make our song. Let us pray now that we may love as we are loved. And let us feast on the spiritual communion offered in God's mysteries and miraculous love to be sustained, to be God's people in this place. In the name of the one who loved first, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen.